Corey coming in three and two overall. Lake Taylor five and zero. Oh. Both teams two and zero oh in the district, and all of the games in the city of Norfolk moved to afternoons on Saturdays due to safety reasons. Lake Taylor getting their passing game going right out of the gate. It's Delman Williams completing the touchdown, 34 yards to Donovan Powell, the senior leader. It's now Lake Taylor seven and nothing early on in the second quarter. And the Titans now go into the pass game again, Matt, as you see Delman finding another open receiver. It's Jalen Holmes. I was going to say, due to safety reasons, Lake Taylor scoring without much uh, defense in front of him here. Both passing touchdowns. Receivers getting pretty easily. We'll take another look at it here. A nice dive into the end zone. And the Titans jump out to a 14-0 lead here. As we move on later in the action, Titans with it again. Look to go to the air again and look to get the same results again. Three straight passing touchdowns here for Lake Taylor. They started out 0 for 2 through the air, Matt, after a scoreless first quarter, and the Titans rev up that passing game, known for their great ground attack and the stifling defense. Titans up on Maury, 21 to nothing in the second half, and they'll get that running game going with Brandon Porkchop Moore. But Maury making some plays on the edge there with Davion Taylor, one of their big-time junior playmakers with the tackle. And then you see now Maury, the defense, trying to get pressure on the quarterback, yet they still leave a receiver open and a fourth touchdown pass here for Lake Taylor. 28 to zero off score here, but Moore's gonna try and answer here, but you know we've talked about it all year long, that stifling Lake Taylor defense just gives offenses nightmares. Brandon Lynch, they call him Brambo with the big hit and another tackle for loss. He was all over the place in this game at seven tackles, six of them behind the line of scrimmage, and Delman Williams operating in a major groove through the air, and they're preparing for the pass, and you get the run. You run, you prepare for the run, they throw it, the air, throw it to the air there, and now it's Daquan Davis moving the chains for Lake Taylor. So many weapons on offense for them. Yeah, between Moore and Davis on the ground, you just don't know which one you can stop, and this time you see Moore getting the benefit of the doubt here as the official calls the pass interference. That'll move him closer to the end zone, and we're gonna have a pitch and catch here, and Moore will get on the scoreboard with that touchdown pass. So Davion Taylor with the five-yard touchdown reception from Anthony Smith. That's Taylor's 12th touchdown of the year, an all-purpose star for the Commodores, and he's only a junior. He'll be back next year out of your own end zone against the late Taylor defense. That's not a good thing. Anthony Smith is running for his life here, trying to get out of the end zone, not have a safety in late Taylor's defense, able to corral him. Yeah, somehow Smith was able to get out of that safety situation, but here's Davis again with a nice stiff arm in the spin move. He's still going like a little bowling ball, just rolling down the field. Got taken out right outside of the 10-yard uh, line. That'll set up first and 10 here for Brandon Porkchop Moore, and he's going to punch it right up the middle and get that rushing score. Boy, do those two backs complement each other so well. Porkchop, Brandon Moore, and Daquan Davis. And then you got the receiving weapons with Harry Freeman, Donovan Powell, Ja'Kale Pinckney, and Jalen Holmes. Speaking of Jalen Holmes, look at the six foot five junior go for the lob pass. Bring it down. His second touchdown grab of the game. Titans pointed on 42 to 7 now over Maury. The deep pass here for Maury. Nice adjustment on the move, and it's going to be a touchdown here as the receiver is able to make a nice adjustment under the ball, take it all the way in for the score. Great job there by Davion. Davion Taylor running away there on a 70-yard touchdown play. They kept him contained for most of the game, but he finally broke loose late. But it's a little too late as it's late to are going back to the air again. That's Delman Williams, 42 yards to Harry Freeman. That's Freeman's third touchdown catch of the game. A career high for him. And oh, by the way, Delman Williams with a career high and school record six touchdown passes, 199 yards passing. And the Titans victorious 48 to 14 over Maury. So we take a look around the rest of the Eastern District. Norvi with a 32 to 30 victory over Booker T. And uh, Granby Blanks, Churchland, 36 to 30. Caleb Wilson with two rushing touchdowns. Also out of the Eastern District, it was Wilson. They stay winless, losing to Northeastern out of North Carolina, 48-14. Travis McWilliams with four receptions, 123 yards, and two touchdowns.